What's going on guys? Colin with Victory. Check out this 21 Wrangler Sahara that we've got here. Beautiful looking Jeep with the white. It's got the black running boards and I do like the wheels on this one as well. This one does have the safety group. So rear parking sensors. We do kind of got it blocked off. The store's kind of out of commission right now. So you might just have to take my word on it. But clean down this body side. Not trying to hide nothing from y'all. But we'll get to the goodies here in just a second. Rear parking sensors does have the backup camera as well. I do also see a nice little tow package down there. Seven and four pin wiring harness. Climbing on in, guys. Of course, tops come off, doors come off. Here's your freedom panel for your top two. And then this one with the 8.4, you do pick up the Alpine system in there with that beautiful subwoofer in the back. Ooh, looks like we got a Jeep kit, some wiring stuff. That's where our door hinges, our roof hinges go for our windshield and all those goodies. You got a 12 volt in the back as well. In case we need to charge anything, I don't know. Whatever, whatever y'all wanna charge, it's back there. Now, climbing on into the second row. Full leather on the interior with the Sahara. This one does have the one touch power top, but I'm not gonna get on my head ahead of myself. We're gonna get to that. Now, coming on up, does have power windows in the rear, 115 volt outlet, that way we can stay plugged in. Same with USBs, two type C's, two regular USBs. So you can plug in whatever accessories you need. Now, with this one, having the safety group, one big thing about it, blind spot. It's that little triangle guy right there. It's gonna light up yellow for you. That way it lets you know somebody's in your rear quarter. Another one of my favorite features, proximity key. Maybe, smart enough. There we go. Does lock it, and then you walk up next to it. Unlocks right away. Key fob's in my pocket. Now this one does have power locks, power windows, which is nice as well. Of course, full leather seats. This one is a Wrangler, so the seats are manual, but it does let you know. It is a Sahara going across there. Let's climb on in. Oh, and avoid that giant semi truck that's making a whole bunch of noise. Now with this one, guys, 7,083 miles. So full factory warranty still, potentially. I know I can certify this one. That way we can take your powertrain engine transmission out to 100,000 miles, which will be good for you. Let me crank this down. Oh, we're getting low on fuel, so I'm gonna have to be quick. Going through here, here's our directional buttons to go through our in-dash display, through our cluster, accept or eject call, voice recognition software too, guys. Don't, don't want to forget about that. So it does have cruise, cruise control, excuse me, and then quick switches on the back here. You got AM, FM tune or track up and down right here on the left-hand side, back there by my fingers on the right-hand side. You got volume up and down as well. There are some little nubby guys in there. That's to change your source and your presets as well. Now, moving over, 8.4 radio screen. This one does have the navigation in there, which is nice for you. Uh, but of course, it does have CarPlay. You do have to link that up via cord, but that's no big deal. You can still run your navigation from there. Heated seats, heated wheel, mirror dimmer. Uh, I'm still working on to see if that one works. But backup camera is the big one. Does have the grid assist lines as well to let you know where you're at. And of course, rear cross path detection. Make sure that you don't hit anybody while we're backing up. Now. I'm a big fan of the hard buttons that Jeep gives you down here. Dual AC controls. Of course, your heated seats, heated wheel. All that's hard button as well. This one does have start-stop technology in there. You can turn that off if you're not a giant fan of it. Same with your parking sensors. You can turn that off as well. Now, moving on down. Power windows. That's a big one in a Wrangler. It's not always standard, but great news, guys. It is in. It does have that on this one. Now, for our CarPlay, we're going to link in right there. A USB Type-C and a regular one with an auxiliary port in case you just want to crank your tunes that way as well. And then those auxiliary switches so you can run any cool accessories down there. Our four-wheel drive system, which is what Jeep's known for. And then automatic gear shifter, guys. Now, another thing that the Wrangler's known for, double din here. Ooh, I saw this on TikTok. Let's see if there's any money. TikTok lied again. There's some, TikTok said there's always money in there. But pops right in real easy. Does have the double, which... Of course, you do get a USB down in there as well. They want you, they want to make sure that you're staying plugged in, charged up, ready to go. Whoa, hang on, missed a great feature. One touch power top, okay? Now, just like a sunroof, this thing is power all the way, automatic, open and closed, and does have universal garage door opener as well. Just to kind of highlight that one for you guys. Of course, my name's Colin, I'm up here at Victory. Give me a call, shoot me a text on my cell, 660-492-5030.